This week, the first criminal jury trial held in Florence's federal courthouse since the pandemic started came to a close. News 13's Jack Bill, you spoke to one of the prosecutors on the case about how a multi-state identity theft scheme ended in the small town of Latta. A jury in Florence found a Georgia woman guilty on six counts related to an identity theft scheme she allegedly ran with her son. Assistant U.S. Attorney Everett McMillan says the pair was caught in this family dollar parking lot. We had um, individuals testify at trial who came from as far as California um, and uh, really just victims across many states, not just South Carolina. According to a federal indictment, Latta police responded after witnesses saw Kene Stevens and her son, DeAndre Copes, acting suspiciously during transactions at a bank and family dollar, then moving their U-Haul van around the parking lot. The defendants withdrew cash from a bank card uh, at a bank in Latta and then walked across uh, the parking lot to the family dollar where they attempted to load that cash onto another card. When an officer arrived, he ran the van's plates and found it had been reported stolen. They then searched the van and inside found what amounts to a mobile identity theft lab. McMillan says authorities found a gun, more than two dozen credit or debit cards, most in other people's names, plus equipment and software purchased from the dark web to print more. Both defendants had traveled up and down the eastern seaboard in the weeks preceding their arrest in Latta. They were traveling from New Jersey uh, with the intent to move to Orlando, Florida to rent a Airbnb there uh, using someone else's identity and someone else's credit card information. He says altogether they'd stolen more than $100,000, a number he expects to go up when investigators present their findings at a sentencing hearing in the coming months. He says this case should serve as a warning that crimes committed with the aid of the internet leave a digital fingerprint. You may not be caught today or tomorrow, but that paper trail exists for, for weeks or months or years down the road and we will seek to hold those accountable. Stevens will serve a mandatory two-year sentence for aggravated identity theft. She and Copes, who's out on bond after pleading guilty, face up to 30 years in prison and a $1 million fine. In Latta, Jack Billiou, News 13.